Suppose we have installed a production version of Progress Application Server for OpenEdge and created a Progress Application Server for OpenEdge instance called PassOE1. You can deploy more than one type of application to a Progress Application Server for OpenEdge instance. In this example, we want to deploy an ABL, a SOAP, and a REST application to PassOE1. Assume we configured the PassOE1 instance to connect to the Sports 2000 database. In a production instance, all application transports are disabled by default for security reasons. Before we deploy the three applications to PassOE1, we have to enable the ABL, SOAP, and REST transport in PassOE1. The transports are defined in an instance's OpenEdge properties file in the instance's conf directory. As you can see, the ABL, SOAP, and REST transports are disabled. First, let's enable the ABL transport. In ProENV, we type the OEPROP command to enable the ABL transport and then press Enter. Similarly, we enable the SOAP and REST transports. We are ready to deploy our application. First, we will deploy the ABL application to PassOE1. Deploying an ABL application is simple. All you need to do is copy the application code to the instance's ProPath. Note that for a production instance, you can only deploy compiled ABL code. Next, we will deploy the SOAP application. This includes two steps, deploying a SOAP service to the instance and moving the compiled application code to the instance's ProPath. Before we deploy the SOAP service, we must start the instance. We run the tcman command to start PassOE1. Then we run the deploy command in ProENV to deploy the SOAP service, which is a .wsm file. Then we copy the application code to the instance's ProPath. Deploying a REST application is similar to deploying a SOAP application. It includes deploying a REST service, which is a .par file, to the instance, and moving the application code to the instance's ProPath. Next, we restart the instance for the changes to take effect. Now that we have deployed the applications, let's quickly test if our deployment succeeded. We first test the ABL application deployment. The ABL application is a simple application that returns environment variables. We run the ABL client. As you can see, the environment variables are returned as expected. Next, we run the SOAP client to test the SOAP application deployment. The SOAP application queries the Sports 2000 database and returns customer details for customer number 2000. As you can see, when we run the client, details for the customer number 2000 from the Sports 2000 database are returned. Next, we will test the REST application. The REST application also queries the Sports 2000 database and returns customer details. Let's retrieve details for customer number one. We use a web browser to invoke the REST application, and as you can see, customer details are returned. You have now seen how to deploy ABL, SOAP, and REST applications to a Progress application server for OpenEdge production instance. To learn more about Progress application server for OpenEdge administration, take the Progress application server for OpenEdge administration course.